hey there you guys welcome back to my channel in today's video i'll be doing this very simple and an everyday wear makeup look using all products from the brand elf elf is now available in india on nika and i'm so glad to be doing this video i have loved elf over the years and it is an amazing brand and the products are just phenomenal i hope you guys enjoy watching my videos if you do please like and share my videos and do subscribe to my channel let's get started with today's video I'll be starting off with prepping my face and for that I'm taking my e.l.f. daily hydration moisturizer and I'm putting it all over the face. It adds a really nice layer of hydration before you put on the rest of your products and gives a really nice base for the rest of the products to lay on top of. For color correcting I'm taking my K-Beauty color corrector stick in the shade peach and I'm applying it in all the problem areas on my face that is mainly on and around my eye area and around the mouth and on the chin where I have some dark pigmentation and I'm just blending it out using my finger. It's a lovely lightweight product and does a wonderful job at cancelling out any darkness and any pigmentation that you have on the face. For the foundation, I'm taking my e.l.f. Acne Fighting Foundation. I'm not sure if they have launched this product in India yet, but it's a really nice and a super super lightweight product. It's more like a BB cream, I would say, because it's a light to medium coverage and it does a beautiful job at evening out the skin tone. And it's a super super lightweight product and blends out so beautifully and seamlessly into the skin. It just looks like your skin, but better. And I just love this foundation from e.l.f. For the concealer, I'm trying out their 16-hour camo concealer. I've heard so, so, so many good things about this concealer and I was really impressed with this concealer. It's a beautiful full coverage concealer and it's a tad bit of a thicker formula and it can look a tad bit drying on the face. So you just need to make sure that you prep your skin really, really well for this concealer to look the best. I'm blending it out using my concealer brush first and then I'll go over it with my beauty sponge and with the help of the beauty sponge I'll be able to sheer out the coverage and to give a nice and an even finish to the concealer. Next to set the concealer, I'm taking my e.l.f. Halo Glow Setting Powder and with a smaller powder brush, I'm applying it in all the areas where I've applied the concealer. This will help to stop the concealer from creasing and it will give a nice and a mattified look to the face. It's a really beautiful and a finely milled powder and it's super super lightweight on the skin. It blends in with your skin beautifully and does not give a flat matte finish and still looks really nice and natural on the face. For the eyebrows, I'm trying out their Ultra Precise Brow Pencil in the shade Brunette. It has a really nice and a precise tip and helps to draw really nice and natural hair-like strokes. I'm just carving out the shape on the upper and the lower end of the eyebrows and then just filling in any gaps in between. The color on this brow pencil is also nicely suited for Indian skin tones and it looks really nice and natural. Next for the eyeshadows, I'm going to be using their bite size eyeshadow palettes. I'm using the shade Truffles. I'm first going to take this darker brown shade and I'm going to put it all over the eyelids up until the crease. It's a really nice and a compact palette and each palette is complete in its own. Each palette has a color story of its own and they are really really beautiful to create a full on eye makeup look. The pigmentation on these palettes is really nice. You might have to build up the color a little bit but i like these kinds of eyeshadows they're especially useful for beginners as it will give you full control over the pigment 
Next, I'm taking this lighter nude brown shade and I'm just putting it in the crease to blend out the edges of the darker brown. And next, I'm taking my Maybelline Colossal Kajal and I'm using it to line my waterline with this. And then I'm taking the black eyeshadow from the same eyeshadow palette and I'm using it on a flat shader brush to blend out the kajal along with the lower lash line. And I'm also extending the eyeshadow on the outer edge of the eye to give it that nice elongated eye look. I also wanted to try out the liquid glitter eyeshadow from e.l.f. so I'm taking the shade Flirty Birdie and I'm just putting it in the inner corner of the eye just to add that light hint of sparkle and I absolutely love this eyeshadow. It's such a beautiful beautiful eyeshadow and has that really nice and a subtle hint of sparkle. It's not as intense as the Daily Forever 52 one that I used in my previous video but it is enough to create an eyeshadow look on its own. Next I'm taking the precision liquid eyeliner in the shade black and I'm using it to line along with the upper lash line. It's a really beautiful product and the applicator on this product is really nice and very precise. You have absolutely full control over how thin or how thick you want the line to be and it's a really nice and a jet black eyeliner and it performs really really beautifully and stays on really nicely throughout the day. For the mascara, I went in with the length and volume mascara in the shade black. I did not buy the waterproof version of this mascara because I, in person, I am not a fan of waterproof mascaras as they are super super hard to take off. But this mascara is a nice and a decent mascara. It gives you that nice and a decent volume. It does not give you that crazy amount of length and volume, but it does give you enough to make your eyes look nice and open and makes your eyes pop even more. It is a really beautiful mascara and it held on to the curl so beautifully throughout the day it did not smudge or budge or transfer onto the under eyes and the applicator on this is really nice and precise and it does a really beautiful job it also adding a nice coat of mascara to the lower lashes Next to add some color back to the skin, I'm going in with my contour palette and I'm mixing the bronzer and the contour shade and adding them on the hollows of the cheeks, along the temples of the forehead, along the jaw and on the sides of the nose to add some warmth and definition to the face. And for the brush, I'm going in with my blush palette and I'm taking this nice berry shade and I'm applying it on the apples of the cheeks and also dragging it backwards and on the nose and the chin to add that nice pop of color to the face. And then to highlight the face, I'm taking my HD highlighting powder in the shade Starlight Glow and I'm applying it on all the high points of the face. It's a really beautiful champagne golden highlight and as a really really beautiful glow from within kind of a glow to the face. I'm also taking it on my fingers and adding it along with the brow bone and the cupid's bow.
And for the lips, I'm taking the matte lipstick in the shade Praline. This shade is a cult classic with Elf and they have this shade in their liquid lipstick formula, in their lipstick formula and also in their gloss. And this is a stunning, stunning peachy nude shade and looks absolutely beautiful on all Indian skin tones. And the formula on this lipstick is also super, super comfortable and lasts you throughout the day. And lastly, to melt all the makeup in, I'm just spritzing my face with the Matte Magic Mist in Set Setting Spray. It has a really nice and a soft mist and did a wonderful job at melting all the makeup in. And this, guys, is the final finished look. It's a really nice and a chic and an elegant and an everyday wear kind of a makeup look and looks absolutely beautiful with any kind of an outfit and it would definitely suit all Indian skin tones. Elf as a brand is one of my absolute favorite brands and I really enjoy using all their products. I hope you guys enjoyed watching my videos. If you do, please like and share my videos and do subscribe to my channel. And I'll see you in my next video. Thank you. Bye-bye.